Okay, family, we're going to do a reading on this guy, the 20-year-old guy, um, sniper, killer, crazy person, Thomas Matthew Crooks. Now, would you believe there have been people who have been saying RIP to him? Um, Republicans. Uh... And this guy just tried, allegedly, just tried to take out Donald Trump. So I just want to show you a picture of, um, like, the aerial view of where this guy was. Okay, again, you've probably seen it. Of course, you've seen it lots of times. Okay. Okay. He was on top of this building here. It's bizarre. Let's find out a little bit about Thomas Crooks. Okay. This is the haunted house tarot that I have here. And um, yeah, let's just see. Okay. Seven of Swords here. Now this card is usually about deceit, but also on this card, in the Rider Waite deck usually, and you can see like, you see these men here at the back here, there's some kind of meeting that's taking place. And you can see this person here with the sword, okay? Now this person is a female, but this represents Thomas, the guy, right? Usually, there's this running from place to place or tent to tent. Uh, there's a recruitment energy on here, okay? To see who could do this, okay? So, definitely third parties are involved, okay? We can see the two men there, these two shadowy men in the back. and uh, But we have this thing here that uh, Thomas might not have been as willing as he looked, he looked very enthusiastic when he was doing the bear crawling thing uh, and all that. But it seems as if he felt that he could try and either outsmart these guys here who obviously have recruited him. But the thing about it is, it's like these guys here didn't just go to him. They went to other people as well. And it just seems as if they either did recruit him or this guy already knew what was about to go down and he kind of preempted it it's a bit of a weird one family okay so it's a bit like if somebody wants you to do a particular job okay and then you they say they want you to do it but then they don't come back to you and so you you, you just assume that they don't want you for the job anymore okay they haven't you haven't agreed on anything but you really want to do it so you have a date or you take advantage of uh, of an opportunity and you go ahead and you do the thing that has been communicated to you okay regardless of whether you have been paid or been asked to you know to to um whether it has been agreed for you to do it or not you just take it upon yourself to do it and this is what's coming up with this guy he took it upon himself to go bear crawl on this building over here on this date at the rally um yeah it, it is very very weird very weird okay seven of swords here so it's about deceit um and also on this card on the rider weight deck which i probably should bloody well show you shouldn't i since i keep bloody talking about it um, the man who is running from um, tent to tent or whatever, he's wearing like a fez hat. So it's an indication that this is some kind of organization behind it. And they were trying to recruit a sniper. Okay. I'm going to show you the fez hat thing here because, you know, it's like a Moorish kind of thing. And it's Moroccan or whatever, but it has this military energy behind it. Okay. So, what was that? Seven of Swords, yeah. Um, I just want to show you, 
okay so the first hat like the shriners hat type of thing and so on but you know it's got that old moorish warrior uh military energy on it so it's he was this guy was recruited disclaim entertainment purposes only this is not factual darlings yeah i'm just going through the deck here the right away deck just to show you what i mean okay they were trying to recruit um, things but it seems as if he wasn't up to the job this guy they you know whoever was doing the recruiting these fellas here in the back right this is the right away deck okay this is the haunted house tarot it's the same card seven of swords right you can see he's wearing this hat this hat here is an indication of belonging to a particular group and that type of thing but this is not the guy this is not the, the Thomas guy this is um, these men here okay they're the ones who belong to this group and you can see he's wearing a hat here the fez hat but he's they're wearing top hats there these are gentlemen from a particular group right so i don't know why they found him unsuitable okay i know of people who recruit all the time all the time and very often it's very easy to see who is unsuitable and who is who is able to carry out uh, the job okay or the requirements or whatever but there's this military energy uh, attached to it and i don't know if there's this idea that they kind of threw it out there that they were looking for an elite military group a special group of youngsters or whatever i don't know because he he wasn't even that young he was 20 years old so it's not like they were recruiting like teenagers or whatever um which is a bit weird but um i don't know was he un was he did they suspect that you know because his friends said that he was bullied at school and really 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 bullied did they think, oh gosh, this guy is completely unhinged and won't be able to follow instructions? Some of y'all know people like that. You can't send them to point A and then to point B and then to come back to you because they'll be all over the place. They'll go over to K, they go to M, they're over there at O and P before they make their way back to you with some kind of, you know, cockamamie story. So some people are not up to the job. This guy... They felt that he wasn't up to the job, even though he was approached. It's interesting how they managed to find out about him in the first place. Uh, let's pull some more cards, okay? So, why was he approached? Why? What made him initially suitable? Okay, now, he was a registered Republican, so maybe... You know some data on that and whatever and, and that's how they found him the lovers card here in reverse somebody on the back of that lovers card as well let's grab another card ten of pentacles here and the watchtower is on the in the ten of pentacles here and i'll show you again and then we can see there you go he was unsuitable We've got the Four of Wands card here in the reverse. Four of Wands usually refers to, you know, um, an event. And on this card here, you can see the event, which is <laughs> a bloody sacrifice, right? And on that altar there, on that table, that would have been uh, Donald J. Trump had they found the right person to do the job. Uh, right, you know, in inverted commas. But the card is in the reverse okay and of course those guys in the, the the guy in the first hat and the guy with the, the two gentlemen there with the top hats on and so on are the same guys that you can see here but there's more of them uh, in their you know anonymous masks and, and hooded gowns and so on so they belong to a real deal holy field kind of sub military order Okay, which is doing a lot of recruiting and what do you call it scouting and that type of thing okay scouting going on it's sinister satanic somewhat yeah yeah I would say it's satanic has a satanic edge to it um, because this four of wands card 
doesn't just come up just like that especially when I'm doing this deck if I was doing using the right weight deck that I just showed you before you know four of wands comes out willy-nilly and stuff like that you know usually on the four of wands you see like a happy event marriage but it's just like a really great meeting or you know something to celebrate after a meeting everybody's kind of a, a union and a coming together because there's like a man and a wife and there's the Jewish hooker and stuff like that well here we have the the haunted house tarot version and the card is in the reverse interesting that i mentioned the hooper as well because there's lots of like zionist and israeli conspiracy theories out there no no it doesn't seem to be them involved in it <laughs> this is not coming from them okay so the other card that came up was this lover's card and then to clarify it was the ten of pentacles card here okay so I don't know if there was some kind of financial enticement, okay, which is usually the kind of first port of call. Oh, I need you to do this for me, I'll pay you. That's the <laughs> so that's usually how you get people to do stuff, usually. But then when you add like a philosophy on top of it, you know, you spread it with some kind of quasi crazy philosophy and the person's mind is already soft and, and like sponge-like and, you know, in terms of mentally, you know, taking on board people's ideals and things like that which quite frankly you don't have to be you know mentally d touched or slightly deranged or delusional or sick or anything like that to take on board people because every day we go into people's churches and temples and synagogues and the workplaces and we take on ethos we take on philosophy because we believe in it we believe in it. We believe in the, the motto and the principles of this company. We believe in our in our church and it's the principles and the you know what you call it the the, the what you call it Christian mission statement and all the rest of it. We believe in our pastor who is determined to drive through the philosophies of Christ according to whatever the teachings are, whichever bits that you're take from the Old Testament or New Testament, you know, all that kind of stuff uh, in the way it's supposed to be delivered or in the tradition of whatever religion or spirituality you're dealing with. The whole point of the matter is family, <laughs> tongue tied. <laughs> whole point of the matter is usually the first port of call is money. That is the thing that entices. And we've got this um, lover's card here which in the reverse which is telling me that there was some other kind of motivation behind this aside from money in terms of the young guy there now why on earth he thought he'd still get bloody paid or impress this young lady could look like he had a girlfriend it could have been a boyfriend as well but there's a girl okay and uh this is him and the girl and obviously there's no relationship i have to say though uh, I don't think this was actually a physical intimate relationship that he had with said girl I think whoever she is I think this is uh, something where he he was it was like wishful thinking or he was kind of semi obsessed with getting the attentions and looking like a knight in shining armor oh yeah to this girl you know he wants to be brave he wants to be strong he wants to remember Matthew Perry and I don't want to compare it to Matthew Perry because Matthew Perry died in suspicious circumstances that I already told a bit on about last year. But Matthew Perry wanted to be Batman. Inside of us, we want to be a hero. We want to be Superman or Superwoman. We want to fix situations and we also want to be acknowledged as well, which is why when we do shit, we talk about it. When we do charitable and benevolent stuff, you know, we, we want people to know that we have given, that we have done stuff, that we have saved the day, that we are heroes and that we wear a cape. There's no point in wearing a bloody cape if people don't see it, right? psychologically, spiritually speaking. So it's the ego again, okay? So he's trying to impress this girl and this is in his mind, you know, he's... You know this man that she wants and that type of thing and he feels that doing this thing if he if he was able to have the opportunity to do this thing in his mind he would become a hero killing mr trump 
would make him a hero to this girl in his mind so you can see he's already deranged he, he's deranged and probably um maybe that kind of overrided you know what the agents the guys you know these the guys in the top hats these guys here kind of override you know you've got to stick to the flipping agenda do you know what I mean so maybe they were trying to find people who disliked Donald Trump to a particular level of hatred they're trying to find people who hate Donald Trump and hate him for the right reasons this is what they were trying to do they were trying to recruit that type of person but there you go with this guy now the Thomas guy who, that's his surname, isn't it? Who's really thinking about a woman, <laughs> a girl. He wanted to impress a girl. And maybe talked to her bloody much when he was during the recruitment, you know, the scouting, whatever it was, meeting or, or, or whatever. However this meeting went down, however they talked to him and communicated with them, however they kind of, you know, scouted him. He talked too much about, you know, wanting to impress this damn girl. And so, yes, he he he's he believes in this and that, but really it's because he's this, you know, hapless, he's got hapless love fantasies and he wants to be this guy. He doesn't want to be the puny little weak, weakling guy. He wants to be like, you know, man. That's not really what the recruiters want. Like, why do you want to do this job? It's like that question. <laughs> it's very irritating. But you've got to give the right bloody answer. Why do you want this job? Why should we give you this opportunity? Well, I want this job because I want to impress a girl. Yeah, and I do need the money as well. I know the money would come in quite handy. I know I'd, I'd be compensated very well. But all of this is to impress this lady. And so the recruiters would probably look at him like, well, we'll get back to you. It's so, you know, this has been, um, it's, it's very interesting meeting you and we'll be in touch. And of course, they're not going to be in touch because number one, the guy's unhinged. Number two, he's just like some sick love struck puppy. He's got some issues in terms of, you know, his body image and all the rest of it. And he, and yes, he doesn't like Trump. And yes, there is some kind of political stuff you know, hatred going on in him for Trump, but it's not sufficient for him. He's not the man for the job. So they went off and they tried to find other people. <laughs> okay, because you can see here in the background here of the Seven of Swords card, the right away one, there's lots of different tents here. Okay, we've got lots of swords for decisions. Okay, they're trying to make a decision. They're trying to find the right one. Okay, who are we going to give this sword to? who's going to carry out the job. And of course, the very first symbolism of sword here in tarot is conflict. Okay. Um, so yeah, let me just show you some of the cards again. In no particular order, we've got the four of wands here in reverse. Lovers card here in reverse. Okay, and you can see in this mirror here, there is somebody looking at him and this girl so I don't know if the girl that he was obsessed with knows that uh, he was obsessed with her or she mentioned him to somebody else you know like very casually you know y'all y'all um, be dating people and then you'll be mentioning them to your uncles and aunties especially if they've got strange behavior and he'll say oh you know you were you <laughs> there's a guy called Ricky and he's interested in you but he's such a weirdo he always talks about Trump and then of course your auntie and uncle may work for this society this organization this strange to this the military group and might go whisper to their friend say oh no this guy called Ricky over here my niece was talking about him perhaps we should have a talk with him about him. Mm -hmm. only to find out that he's unsuitable do you know what I mean but the, you know it's part of the recruitment thing so um yeah all right and then of course we have the ten of pentacles here which is the money aspect and again it's that surveillance uh, aspect as well because we have a tower here in the back of the card that you can see which i have been calling for the past four or five years the watch tower or the fame tower so there are people inside of this tower who are looking at you and i and there's a lot of surveillance going on to see you know how suitable we are to help with their agendas and so on okay 
there's that aspect to this Ten of Pentacles card, but also the fact that it would have taken this guy from Butler, Pennsylvania, out of, <laughs> you know, out of um, poverty, relative poverty, and given him the finances and perhaps a new life somewhere else, it, you know, he would have been removed from that place. But he took it upon himself. So what we're trying to say here, family, with this reading, what's important about this, the important takeaway, I guess, is that this guy, Thomas Watts' face, wasn't meant to be the shooter. He is not the original sniper. He's not the shooter. And so we can now see, have a little bit of understanding as to why there was a delay. And also it indicates that the personnel who were there were aware of something that was supposed to go down but it was there was this confusion because maybe it wasn't even supposed to go down at that place on that date at that time with this here person maybe something else was arranged and then here comes Hapless what's his name what's his, what's his name and he decides to be a have a go hero and he was given sufficient enough information and, and, and given the, the details of the target, i.e. Trump, and he just turned up for the job and uh, did the job. And then he was just taken out because he's just pathetic. He cannot follow instructions and nobody told him to do it. Okay. Again, I just want to show you this card here. Very, very powerful card here. A lot of deceit on this card as well. Okay. Dishonesty. Right. And the same card here again. But uh, you see those gentlemen there in the back. You see the Fez hat. You see the guys on the four of um, thing. So this was the uh, four of wands. So this was planned by some type of military type group. This has been for entertainment purposes only. And uh, basically we were talking about this guy. What's his name? Thomas Watson. it? Give you his full name again, because you see, um, not many people are talking about him. Not many people are talking about him at all. The BBC got his name all over the place, but you go to the New York Times. I'm just like looking at today's uh, what's in the jigs? CBS News, ABC, New York Times, Washington Post. They're not mentioning the guy's name. They have mentioned his name, of course. And of course, they do have articles. But when you just do a quick search, the BBC, Thomas Matthew Crooks. <laughs> okay. So he wasn't supposed to be the attacker. But he took it upon himself to not only be the attacker, but to be the sniper to impress. Ashe, if you want your own psychic tarot reading, www.celestialtarotreadings.com.